guess what time it is? I'm decorating my room for Christmas and I am so excited. You may be wondering, Jade, it already looks quite Christmassy behind you. That's because I went from Halloween in October and I was like, what do I do or how do I decorate my room? And I thought November can give off cozy cabin winter wonderland vibes. And I feel like this is exactly what the room looks like right now, but it doesn't scream Christmas because it's still November, but it's about to scream Christmas in here. So let me just show you my room, how it is now. Starting off with the prints, we've gone very kind of wintry, cozy, but just not super Christmassy. And then the bed, gives off the same colour scheme, same vibes. So originally this was just a white duvet, but since, you know, having to change my bed sheets, I found this little green one in my cupboard. So I thought that looks perfect. I will say this room's probably not one of my favourites. I think my autumn room, if you haven't seen my autumn room transformation over on TikTok, definitely check it out. But I think that one was my absolute favourite so far. But I feel like this Christmas one is going to be like next level. I'm not going to want to take it down. I feel like in the past I've done better bedspreads than this, but it's fine. Then up here I really love. So it's just the little things really. We've got these little cute wildlife in a little band. This little snowy Christmas tree. This gorgeous little gonk, which just gives the perfect winter vibes. And then also this cloud LED and this little wintry plant thing. Bedside table just consists of two candles which fit the vibe perfectly we've got this christmas tree smelling candle which honestly just smells like a man i love it and then also this candle lit cabin which does smell like a cozy little cabin so those are the perfect candles and then obviously another tree sorry we're in a little bit of a mess but my little fireplace which is actually a heater we have this gorgeous little sleigh which i need to put some batteries in because it does actually light up and then this right here is probably my favorite so we've got my little light which just says sweet dreams this gorgeous little tree tree decoration from B&M. I'm obsessed with this. More little Christmas plants. And then we've got this little girl. She's just holding coffee and stuff. Um, and then we've got this snowy tree and also this little house. Then I put some little, oh, we're flashing. Oh God. Some little snowflake LEDs up there. And then we just got some a few little wintry plants in this. And then over here is just a huge selection of stuff for my room decorating video, which will hopefully be gone soon. So in here we have a heck load of <laughs> Like this one is full of Christmas stuff in here. I'm so excited to get so tacky with this. I just think this is what Christmas is all about. Alf's gonna wear his tartan to match my pajamas. So we're gonna put that on him now. His pajamas are from Next and I was so upset because when I saw them, I noticed that they actually come in. I could have actually really matched with him. My ones are from Sainsbury's and I got them before I ordered his. These come as a matching set so I could have matched with him properly but this will do they're very nice aren't they look how cute they look he acts like he doesn't like him but i promise he does he loves being warm and cozy let's begin because i'm keeping you guys waiting aren't i so i'm gonna get all my stuff out and we're gonna see what we can do okay here's all my decorations i think i'm gonna do the tree first just because i feel like that that's what we need to get the festive spirit up in this room this is the gorgeous tree i've gone for i feel like it gives off quite a natural real vibe Broke the box. Hello, Christmas tree. Woohoo! Quite small than I thought, actually. What the heck? This is this is so hard to do. Oh, I snapped it. Right, it's on. It's on. We did it. Why does it look so crooked? Oh, it looks awful. She needs to be made even, so I'm gonna sort that out and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I've established I'm not the greatest Christmas tree fan at outer, but I think that'll do. I think once the ball balls are on, it might level out a little bit, you know? I need a hoover as well, it's, it's molting everywhere. So these are the lights that I'm thinking of putting on her. Very over the top, very multicolour. OMG. Look at her. Right, ball balls. We have teeny weeny ones, so hopefully this works and looks nice and really brings it together no how did i forget about this horrible chore you know when you've actually got to make the bloody ball balls yourself the gold and the green don't have it but the red ones do i'll be back once i've done the ball balls how stinking cute traditional gorgeous christmasy i've got some of these that i was gonna like dot around the place maybe i could even put them in the tree just to fill it out a bit um, that's a maybe, but I was thinking of just being a bit generic and putting a little bow on the tree. 
maybe next to the star. Also have these little hangy things, but I don't know if this is gonna ruin it. So I guess we just have to try. Maybe I'll give them to mum. Unfortunately, I think that's gonna kill the vibe a little bit just because they're huge. I feel like they need to go on a big tree. So I might just see if mum wants to put them on the main tree when she decorates, but they're so cute, but they're just gonna ruin the vibe, aren't they? Also got these little candy canes, but again, are they gonna ruin the vibe? Again, I'll see if mum wants these. I just think it's fine the way it is, you know? How on earth is that supposed to go on? That tiny little hole. Good job I got back up, because I got bows. Oh my goodness. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. That was really underwhelming. Okay, so that is most definitely giving tacky Christmas, but this does make me feel so nostalgic and like, that is Christmas at the end of the day. I'm all for pretty aesthetic trees, but when it comes down to it, this is what makes me feel the most festive. I really like it as well, just like that. Doesn't that just give off the most aesthetic, loveliest vibes? I just love these colors so much. And like my little tartan. Yeah, I really like it like that. Also, how stinking cute does this dog look? <laughs> He has been like that for half an hour whilst I've been doing the tree. He is so comfy and cosy. I just love him so much. Look at him, he looks so festive. <laughs> Let's do this bed. I am so excited that it's got a white trimming. That is so good, I thought it was just gonna be red. The sunshine's coming out. Best part of this duvet is that I won't have to put the heating on in this room because obviously, if you don't know, I live outside. I am gonna be snug as a bug in this, but the bad thing about it is I didn't realize it was this sort of material on the inside. I thought it was gonna be like this all the way around. Alfie's fur is gonna to cling to this. Who's watching I'm a Celebrity? I'm absolutely loving it already. Sam's in there. Lo, okay, not Lola. I can't remember her real name, <laughs> but Lola from EastEnders. There's so, I feel like there's so many funny characters in there this year, so I'm really excited to sit down every night and just watch it. And I think we're gonna have a little takeaway tonight. Yeah, we might get Chinese tonight. So that's nice. It looks like a giant Christmas stocking. I love it. Pillows. I need to get my Christmas cushions out of my mum's bedroom. Check on the Christmas throw. Guys, it's really coming together. I feel like I'm transporting into a Hallmark Christmas movie right now. A one and a two. <gasps> it looks so nice. Right, I've got this, but is that gonna ruin the vibe? I think that might be too much. I'm gonna put that somewhere else. What about Father Christmas? Oh, I feel like that looks a bit childish. I've got this tiny little throw, which will be perfect like that. I hope it looks good because I just feel like the red, I feel like the red is amazing, but it needs some green. That is giving tacky Christmas at its finest, but I am so fine with that. I feel like I might have to go to Home Bargains and get a little, little cushion just for there. This camera's gonna die anyway, so I'm gonna put it on charge. I'm gonna race up to Home Bargains, try and find a nice pillow, and then I'll be back. I'm back. I've got some Dr. Pepper because it's honestly my favorite drink ever. I found a pillow. I'm not like obsessed with it, but I feel like it will do. Um, it kind of works because where these cushions are quite, there's quite a lot going on on them. I didn't want to take away from the cushions too much. I picked this up. I feel this is quite typical. Everyone's got it, but I think it will go quite nicely. Um, I also just had a chicken baguette because I love home bargains baguettes. I get a baguette, get some sliced chicken, chuck it in, butter it, all good to go. Three, two, one. How's that looking? That works. I imagine like a little dark green pillow, that would have been perfect, but it's fine, it's fine. Next up, we need to change these prints. These frames are breaking on me, that's the only thing. Okay, for prints, we've gone red. We've gone for this one, this one, and this one. It's getting so dark. I need to get a move on. Okay, next we need to transform this section. I don't know with what. I feel like I need to turn the books back around, but I don't know if I have that many. Red, green, gold, white books. <laughs> white, white, dark green and gold, white. All right, those ones can stay. These ones can go on the bookshelf upstairs. These are the books I'm gonna try and work with that might fit the color scheme. Okay, I think that actually makes such a difference. I have this, which I already know is not gonna fit. And I want to cry. Why do I do this to myself? Of course that's not gonna fit. How do I stick it on? It's on. I love it. I've made it work with some sellotape. 
We've got a book there. We've got my little Santa Claus thing here. Three, two. Uh, and then my little Santa light. And then down here I've got some little gonks, which are just the cutest little thing and go with the colour scheme perfectly. Then we have this to replace the little sweet dreams thing. That is huge. Cute! Okay, it's not coming up very well, but this little Merry Christmas sign fits perfectly there. It's getting dark, isn't it? This is the one thing I can't stand about winter is that it just gets dark so quickly. Like I started this at literally 11 o'clock in the morning and now it's half three. <sighs> and look at the mess. I still have so much to do. But my camera's dying, so I'm gonna pop you on charge and then we'll see where we are in a minute. <laughs> oh, hey, we're back. <laughs> you are charged. I have got on with a few things without you. I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. I have never been more obsessed with my room in my entire life. Like this beats every single room transformation video I've ever done. The last thing I need to do is find some batteries because I have literally six things which need batteries. So that's gonna be like, what, 12 batteries? Maybe more if they've got three. Little elves here. We feel so festive, look at the Christmas tree behind us. But what I'm gonna do is just gonna talk you through some of the bits I've done, and then I'm gonna try and find some batteries. Um, I might actually have to go to the shop and buy some. And then I'm gonna show you what my room looks like at night, and then tomorrow I will show you what it looks like in the daytime, because I feel like it gives completely different vibes. Um, okay, let me show you. Right, so I added this bow to this greenery here. Have you guys seen this section? This is probably one of my favourites. Mine and Alfie's stockings, even though they're tiny. Might get some chocolate coins in there. And then I've got my little candles just buried in there. I've added some of these plants into this hanging basket. We've got some candy canes, um, some more crazy lights, and then this huge stocking, which is just for decoration. I actually originally bought it for Alfie, but you can't even get anything in there. So I should have checked that before I bought it, but I just thought that looked quite cool. We've added this pillow, my little hot water bottle, and then this little gingerbread. Look at this, guys. Oh my God. Then we have my little fake fireplace and this little sleigh, which also needs batteries. So that's another thing I need to do. Then I have I've changed my books back around just because this area looks neater like this so yeah that's what you're seeing i'm gonna go and try and find some batteries and then i'll give you a nighttime room tour and then tomorrow i'll show you what it looks like in the daytime i am over the moon like genuinely this feels the most festive a room has ever felt i just wish i had more friends or like a boyfriend or something to share it with to be honest because you know at the end of the day i'm going to share it with you guys and that's what's important to me because we're going to be doing christmas movie nights together we're gonna be doing Vlogmas, we're gonna be doing the whole lot over on my TikTok, so follow me over there. Also, not to get all deep, but like I've realized that like I haven't got anyone to show this to, like as in obviously showing it to you guys and that's like makes me so freaking happy. I don't have anyone like personal, personal, do you know what I mean? Like to actually text and be like, look at my new room, like no one that, I, that I'm at the point anymore where I feel like I can share that with anyone. And I'm fine by that because I am quite an independent person and I'm okay with being a loner. And I don't know, I just kept like thinking, oh, like I wanna take a picture and send it to, but then no one comes to mind anymore. But at the same time, I can take a picture of all of this and I can put it on my story for you guys to see. <laughs> so who's the real winner? Like, and, and as well, I've got my mum and dad and my brothers that I will literally be like, guys, come and see my room. And even my dad was impressed, so that's saying something. Especially this time of year, I just, it's so easy just to feel a little bit more lonely. I feel like I don't really have a person. You know, like when people have their person or their best friend or just someone that they're just talk to about everything. Like I don't have that. And I'm not someone's person. I don't have a person. And I just think like this time of year, when you see people like with their boyfriends or <laughs> their best friends or a group of best friends, and they're all doing like Christmas mug painting or watching cozy movies in a cozy decorated room or going to see the Christmas lights or Winter Wonderland. And it can make you feel a bit lonely. Like I am gonna do that by myself, like don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not going to Winter Wonderland. I'm not gonna go and see a show in the West End by myself, <laughs> but I am gonna drag my parents to the Christmas lights. I'm gonna watch loads of Christmas movies by myself. I'm gonna have Christmas cozy movie nights. I'm gonna paint a mug might even get my mum to do it with me. It makes me feel like, what's wrong with me? Why don't I have any friends? But at the same time, like that's the, that is like a huge part, I think, of doing social media full time, working from home and also living on a tiny little island. Sorry, I just had to move you because I was getting uncomfortable down there. And like, you might think, well, how are you going to meet anyone? <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know. 
Why are you whinging? I'm very okay on my own because I'm not on my own. Yeah, I think that's one thing that I've realised, like, as I'm getting older, like, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm in my 20s, I'm nearly 24. And I feel like if someone's not giving what you're giving them, no, there's no point. And I just truly believe I haven't met my people yet. And I'm hoping that I do meet my people. You know, I'm in my early 20s still. Next year, mid 20s. <laughs> bit scary yeah i don't know i think it just hits me most when it's like seasons at this moment in time i've done all i can do in terms of i put myself out there when i need to put myself out there and i have you guys and you are always dming me such lovely things and i love chatting to you and i actually feel like i've got thousands and thousands of best friends but i just wish we could all fit into my little bedroom and watch a christmas movie together do you know what i mean the main thing is i'm open-minded and i will i am willing to get out of my comfort zone if needed but just for the right people do you know what i mean anyway i've got 11 minutes left on this memory card i need to go and find some batteries <laughs> batteries have been brought hopefully i have enough for everything <gasps> yay <gasps> It's so pretty. Okay, this one. This is making me so freaking happy. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for the nighttime tour? Oh my God, I'm actually obsessed. <laughs> Starting with my bed area. So we have these gorgeous prints, the bed. I can't wait to get into this. Just looking so cozy. And then we have a Santa hat, which doesn't pick up very well. My books are coordinated to the Christmas colours. We have these little guys. Then this is a little bit of a boring area. Just got a candle, a whatever those are called, but it's giving Christmas scent. Okay. And then this area, possibly my favourite area now. Look at this. So starting with this section, we have this gorgeous Merry Christmas sign and then all my little fairy lights, which just look so effective. The little berry plan, this little, I don't know if you can really see. These gonks, which are the Grinch and Max. I just, I got them off Etsy. They are the best things ever. These little ornaments and then down here. I'm really sad I had no room to put the tree anywhere. She's okay down there. Then I have my little fake fireplace, which is so effective. And then this gorgeous little sleigh which has leds built in and then obviously my little yankee candle christmas candles okay and then my bean bag with these little cushions on which i just think isn't that the cutest little area you've ever seen and then this area my fairy lights and then this stocking and then one of my favorite things about this is that you can see literally all the lights <laughs> in the mirror and then the tv look at that it's literally like she has no fireplace but she's making a fireplace vibe i'm literally obsessed with this what was it even called going this way got this little star in the door and then my little tinsy wincy christmas tree and i also have my little tree here as well isn't this just the most coziest little christmas room you've ever seen in your life especially my favorite area so that's what it looks like at night time so cozy and lovely but let's move on to tomorrow where i show you what it looks like in the day because i feel like it gives completely different vibes good morning morning yes i look the exact same as yesterday because i'm not taking these christmas pajamas off but it's time to show you what it looks like in the daytime which looking at it now it doesn't actually look that much different but i just thought it'd be nice just to show you in the day so let's do it okay favorite section in the daytime the lights are on i just love this so much see what i mean it doesn't look too different in all fairness i think if anything it probably does look much better at night time just because it gives that it gives that festive ambience you know here's this part here's one of my other favorite parts this looks good in the daytime christmas tree i'm gonna turn it off quickly as well just to show you that i love the christmas tree in the daytime in all fairness this part little elf having a snooze and then this little shelving area which i'm really in love with so yeah that is my room decorating video complete i am so beyond obsessed with it it's just come out way better than i could have ever thought i'll be here for the rest of november and december check out my tiktok and my instagram if you haven't already and i love you so much thanks for watching